I will be showing you guys where you can find different things. So basically, there are some things where people just don't know where it are, such as kind of where tool stands are, or how to get different plates, such as steel plates or copper plates. I think I might have some. Nope. Oh yeah, uh, like basically what comes out of these plate fact, uh, plates, but. I'll basically just be showing you guys some different things, where different things are. So, first, let's get into where the tool stand is. So, the tool stand actually is found in the furniture workbench instead of the regular workbench. And you just have to type in tool stand and see what it is for 10 iron and 10 maple wood. So, it's honestly very simple to make but i feel like some people would think that it would be in maybe the regular workbench but when you type it in it's not there so that is just something to know that you should always have your furniture workbench because it might come in handy every so often so that was the tool stand next i'm just going to remove this stuff Next, we have the um, sawmill. Yes, the sawmill. And so actually, you think that it would be in a workbench, right? Well, or, well, it's not. And in that case, it must be in factory. Well, again, it's not. But if we go over to utility, then we will get some other things we will have which actually you're probably going to start off here sometimes i'll start down here you're going to start down lower but you can see here we have the blast furnace for making steel but if you scroll all the way to the very top you will see the sawmill for 10 oak wood and 10 iron and then you'll also see the stone cutter for 40 iron but yeah, if you're looking for something that looks like a workbench, like the sawmill or the stone cutter, or maybe even the blast furnace, then you're not gonna find it in here. You're gonna find you're not gonna find it in workbenches or factory. You're gonna find it in utility. Next, guys, we have the copper, the plate, and uh, I think the other one is, uh, I forget what it is, um, well, the plate, the rod, and the bolt. So, right here, as you can see, I, I kind of gave you the answer right here. It is in the anvil to get the mold. Now, instead of having, now, let's, you have your steel rod and you have your gilded steel rod, but if you want a copper rod, then right here you're going to need this rod here. And you're going to need a whopping 2,500 steel ingots. That's a lot. But yeah. And then also for the bolt, you're going to need 1,000 steel ingots. And for the plate, you're going to need 5,000 steel ingots. Yeah. So this is something to also have the anvil i mean i think everybody has it because that's where you can get your iron utensils your gilded steel utensils your diamond uh one day your obsidian and then opal even and maybe even um void i heard there was something like void ah uh, yeah the void mat hawk yeah um but you just don't know some of the stuff uh you might want to go play some bed wars because most of the stuff has come from bed wars such as void stuff and diamond and stuff that all comes from bed wars before that there was no such thing as void until void armor and stuff was is in bed wars so maybe we'll even have armor who knows but then also, if you to, if you're wondering, oh, sorry, I cannot talk. Huh. 
If you're wondering where you put the molds into, well, if you go over to factory down here, then you will get a steel press and a copper press and then also a drill for here. Yeah, um, I, I honestly don't think you need a, uh, any molds for drills. But yeah, the, uh, ah. No, come on. Alright, there we go. Ah. But, uh, steel press and copper press are what you're gonna need for, um, the, uh, ah. Uh, man. The molds, yes, the molds. <laughs> Alright, guys, so next we're gonna have some stuff such as the buckets or. Something like that, and the bucket is actually going to be found in the animal bench. So you're going to see the bucket with three iron. You're also going to have the animal name tag, makes sense. The trough, I think it's called now. The trough, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Hay bed, shears, cloth room, which again makes us wonder if. There could be uh, at least leather armor, scratching post, and then also we have industrial milker, wool vacuum, truffle barrel, mud pile, and a nest. So, yeah. Alright, so next we're going to want to look at where you can get, I'm just going to put this stuff away, um, water buckets. So, water buckets here. So, I'm pretty sure you might be able to get it in the water catcher uh, bucket. There we go. Let me check. I think you might be able to. Oh, right. I have to hold it. Fill. Yeah, okay. I don't think that you're able to. Okay, I don't know, though. I mean, this is empty, but I'm pretty sure you can't. But because you can't, what we're going to want to do... Whew, is we are going to want to go over sorry my island's messy huh, i'm trying to make a new island all right i mean this is my new island all right that over there i'm gonna have to remove these two trees but that over there is my old island and boy is it a mess huh, i actually have a little secret compartment on where i can uh get all my th things from the farms but what we're going to want to do for water buckets uh, is we're going to want to go over to the hub and just so you know, while I'm walking over to the place we need to be for lava buckets, you're going to want to go to the underworld. So don't expect to get any lava until you reach the underworld. I mean, you can buy it for, I think, maybe like 50,000 at Players Islands in the vending machines, but I'm not sure. Uh, but here we have blocks, and you go into John. Hello, John. Grass blocks are always on demand. Oh, man. But right here, you can get the water bucket for 100 coins. And then you can also sell different blocks and buy some unique blocks, such as carpet, hay, hay checkered tiles, and much more. Also, while I'm here, we have the mechanic, Jack, and you can buy a spawn block. So, if you, oh, and then you can also sell copper bolts and gearboxes. But spawn blocks, yes. If you notice, when I reset my character, I spawn here instead of my normal spawn, which is about maybe 50 blocks away from the portal. Well, that's because I have this spawn block here it costs 10,000 coins and as you can see when i place it down also you're always going to spawn at the newest spawn point so if i have two spawn blocks and let's say i have this old one and then i place a new one right there then you are going to you're gonna spawn at the new one which would be over there if i had one so uh, just closing my door. Um, you basically that's the spawn block. Then, um, what else do we have that somebody might want to know? Oh yeah, these um, 
These electrical things. Oh man, I don't even know if I have the workbench anymore. Man, I haven't done electrical stuff in so long. I might want to catch up on that. Huh. I'm out of date, as they say. But workbenches for any electrical things, it's gonna be right here, which <sighs> workbench uh electrical Yeah, I don't have it. Okay. Um but as you saw I was trying to get the electrical workbench and that's gonna have your wires and your LED lights and stuff like that. But in order to craft it you need some electrolytes. Well, what you can do is you can go over to the hub, and I do know I saw some in Buffalo Court Island. Ah, there we go. Um, but if you don't find any there, I think. Ah, there we go. I think there might be some over on the island. Uh, sorry, not on the island, on the mountains. Yeah. I mean, that was a long time ago, back when the map was the castle map. Huh, remember those days? Yeah, you could go onto the mountains and you'd find electrolytes. But, I'm not sure if you can find any, any more. Um, well, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys tuned. And, maybe I'll do a video on, elect um, on the electrical things. But, basically, you can find all electric things in um, the electrical workbench. Oh, and then we also have, um, clay. Huh. Yeah, speaking of which, clay. Oh, so many people want to know where clay is. Well, like some games, um, you know, Minecraft does this a little bit. Uh, different games will put their own, um, little facts based off of reality into the game. But basically, when you go gold mining... I'm surprised why they don't put gold in the rivers yet because um, this is so called Gold Rush White Water. And you should definitely watch it. I saw on Discovery. But um, basically, they go down, and in one of the episodes, they actually found clay, which clay is actually right near gold. So I'm surprised that they don't put gold in the waters too, as, long, as well as clay. But as you can um, yeah, I'm gonna need to find the ocean. Hang on, I'll just reset my character. And then go back to the hub. Because I don't know where I am. Um, come on. Alright, hub. But, basically, you just need to go over here. To the Christmas tree. And then, you go over to the block sky. I think. No. Yeah, the block sky. Then, you're going to want to hop up. And if you jump, you will see a little fish area where the dock is. And you can go fishing. Well, in over there, you'll see a pirate ship. That's where you can go to Pirate Island, but we're not going there. We are going, yeah, the pirate ship is right there where you can travel. But we are going to go down at the bottom of the sea and down there we are going to find um aquamarine right here right so we can mine that and we're gonna get some aquamarine shards or crystallized aquamarine but if you go over here then you'll see stuff that looks like iron but it's not it's actually gold so if we mine it Sorry, uh, ah, I keep on saying gold. No, it's actually clay. So right there, we just caught some clay from that. So yeah, clay is found at the bottom of the ocean. So for those beginners who can't get the clay totem, then look at the bottom of the sea. All right, and that's where we find them. But next, um, I don't really think there's much left to it. Although, hmm, there is... Where do you get uh, neon blocks? Yes, yeah, so neon blocks come from the basic workbench. Alright, uh, what? Is it the basic workbench or is it the lighting station? Actually, guys, I'm not sure. Let's go check. So, first, I'm just gonna mine these three blocks. Um, 
three. There we go. And I do not have to do that. All right. Book. Punch. Two, three. This show neon. Neon. Oh, okay. So actually, guys, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go over, and I think it might actually be in the lighting station. Either that or the furniture. But I think it might be in the lighting. No, but we do have sea lanterns. I didn't know that. Yeah, so all the lighting stuff is going to be in the lighting station, which that is unfortunately a game pass. But at least we do have torches and firefly lights. Oh, yes. All right. It's going to be in the coloring station. What? Ah, yes. In the coloring station. So you're going to need, need um, any color of flower. Um, but you're also going to need spirit crystals, which I do have. Oh, oh I can make that. Huh. Um, but you are going to need. Oh, cool. All right, so I can make a couple of different colors. Does black even light up? Does black even light up? No. Why would they make. Why would they do that? Guys, they made a block. They made a black neon block. But everybody knows that black does not. Black is the opposite of. It's, um, it basically takes all the light out of something. Uh, I'll replace that later. Huh. So I don't know why they made that. But. Uh, sorry, guys. Um. The. Uh, my dog. But. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go over to Slime Island, and then, oh, just so you know, bamboo is located on Slime Island. So right there, you'll see some bamboo. But right here, you'll see these weird-looking trees. Ah, weird-looking trees and plants, and you will go over to Spear Island. Now you're gonna need your net, uh, which ah, I do have. Okay, good. And you'll see. Catherine and you can get spirit seeds and that is gonna get you um what you need for the spirit crystals I think that's what they're called you can also get spirit saplings no they do not produce anything except when you cut them down you'll get a rare a purple wood then we also have some just regular decorations right um I don't know if that lights up or not. I think it might though. And then we also go down, but we go down, and you're gonna want to look for spirits. They come in white, blue, pink, and green. Which, if you get green, there's a way chance of you getting some um, a special item, which you can use to craft a spirit spell book. But as you can see, guys, we have. Oh, and that's found in the anvil, obviously. But, as you can see, a spirit looks like this. This one is a blue one, and boom, we'll get spirit jars. Uh, white always, which are right over there, they always produce one. Blues can produce from two to five. Pinks are three to six, and then greens, four to seven, I think. Let's, I just think, okay, because I've gotten, uh, I've always only gotten one from a white one, I've gotten uh, three, uh, sorry, two to five on blue, three, and I've gotten a six on pink, and I've gotten a four, and I've gotten a seven on green. So, I don't know. Just, huh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I guess. But yeah, these are spirit jars, and you can exchange them with Catherine for um, some little goodies, I guess. <laughs> But just so you know, you can't drop these, and I don't think you can put them in chess. Uh, I have chess for when my brother and I want to play together. Okay, so you can't put them in chess, so if you want to give them to another player, you can. But, until then guys, that's all the time we have for today, so I will see you soon. And I'll probably do an electric video too. So, I'll see you soon. Bye! Oops.